All right, here we go again, guys. <laughs> Going to do a quick video here and introduce this uh, platform. It's called Avarice, Avarice Token. And uh, this one was sent to me, I think, yesterday. And honestly, you know, when I see platforms like this, these are staking, you know, longer pays better type deals. You know, for the most part, I kind of just put it on the back burner. You know, there was a point in time in this space where these platforms were super duper hot. They were coming out like every week there was a fork coming out and people were just jumping from one of these staking platforms to the next. Um, and it just uh, it just kind of fizzled out, you know, because a lot of these platforms were very susceptible, susceptible to exploits. And there was a lot of different ways people were gaming the system. They were, they were doing suicide stakes and all sorts of stuff. But, um, you know, after taking a little bit closer look at this particular one, I think I'm going to go ahead and throw some funds into it, uh, mainly because it's from a an existing team that we've made money with, uh, T2X. If you guys remember T2X, if you've been in this space for a while, uh, two years ago, there was a platform called T2X. People were calling it Hex on Tron, right? Because it was almost like a fork of Hex with the fact that you can go into the auction lobby every single day. You can go ahead and <clears throat> you can go ahead and stake your tokens, and uh, and then receive dividends. Sorry about that, guys. Um, you know, it was very similar to Hex. So Hex on Tron, it was T two X. If you if I, I even look back here, you can see here this was two years ago, almost two years to the day. But two years ago, this was a video that I put out called T two X review after five days lucrative staking system. And this particular pl platform is on BSC, and I believe it's from the same uh, lead developer. I don't think it's the same exact team. Correct me if I'm wrong. Those of you guys that might know, some of you guys are know more about these things that I do, post it in the comments. Is it, is it the same exact team, or is it just the lead developer, right? The lead developer from T2X, you know, um, put, up, put out a, a platform on BSC, which, look, let's face it, guys, BSC is where it's at right now. Um, when something is not on BSC, a lot of times I, I tend to, you know, put it on the back burner. So while I like BSC, it's very user friendly, it's very easy to use. And you have blockchains that people have to like jump over hurdles and watch video tutorials to try to get into that particular blockchain. It, it kills it, it kills the momentum because, you know, there's a barrier of entry right before people start. Like people don't, even, don't, people don't wanna jump through hurdles to get into a specific blockchain. So BSC for me has been, you know, the, the, the blockchain of choice. Anyway, not to go off on that, this is called Avarice token, guys. And again, it's very similar. You go into the auction lobby every single day, you put in your BNB, right? You, you, you put your BNB in the auction. I'll show you how to do that here in this video. And then uh, what happens is the very next day or when the auction's over, uh, which I believe is five, every day, 5 p.m. Eastern time, if I'm not mistaken, um, what'll happen is you get your Avarice tokens and then you can stake your Avarice tokens. Now, again, you can stake them for as long as you want or as short as you want. Um, you can ladder your stakes out. Like what I was doing with T2X and some of these other staking like platforms is I was doing a lot of 30 day stakes. Now, some people do 60 day stakes and 90 day stakes and six month stakes. And again, the longer you stake it out, the more you get, right? But for me, what I was looking to do was create a passive income and so my strategy, my basic strategy that I was doing with T2X was I was doing 30 day stakes. Every 30 days, my, a stake would um, would mature. The dividends uh, were available plus the tokens. And then I would just restake again for 30 days, right? I would I would take my 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 uh, my profits, my passive profits, my my dividends, and then I would restake the principal for another 30 days. And so then what would happen would would uh essentially be a every once those cycles started to catch up it was like every day there was a stake that was maturing i was getting my my passive rewards and then i was just restaking again that's probably the way i'm gonna approach this one here some people like to do that they do these ladder stakes whether it be every day or every week maybe they might have one you know big daddy stake <laughs> that they put out for like you know, 90 days out or six months out. And so while that one is accruing dividends, they have the 30 day stakes or the weekly stakes, you know, ladder stakes creating passive income. Again, put your strategy, you know, put, uh, together. Everyone's different. 
I'll obviously show you what I'm doing. You can just watch it as I document it on video so you can get some ideas off that. But, you know, if it works like T2X or any one of these other forks that were coming out every single week, then that's pretty much, you know, how it works. So anyway, um, you scroll through the site here. This just gives you an idea. Um, obviously, this is brand new. I think it's one day old. Um, so there's not a ton of statistics here uh, that I'll populate, but as days go by, we'll see that. It says here, how do you get ABC tokens? Now, again, some of you guys who were around back in those days, this will be very, very familiar. If you're brand new, what are you doing watching my channel? <laughs> this is a VChan channel. Um, anyway, look, how do you get ABC tokens? You participate in a daily auction and swap your BNB for ABC tokens. Tokens will be dispersed to your wallet at the end of the day. Um, you can also refer friends and earn 5% of their auction payout. Now it's beneficial for you to use a referral uh, link because even if you're the one using the referral link, you actually get a 1% bonus on what you put into the auction. So, you know, if you don't use a referral link, you'll get 0%. So getting something of a kickback is always going to be a plus. So definitely recommend using a referral link, whether you use mine or somebody else's, but it's just money you're leaving on the table. You then stake your ABC tokens to earn daily interest on your stake. The longer you stake, the more interest you will earn through our staking bonus system. Um, how does staking? How does the staking system work? Users will accrue daily interest based on the number of ABC tokens they have staked. They will also receive dividends paid in BNB. So the dividends, like in T2X, the dividends were in Tron because it was on the Tron network, right? This one here is going to be paying out BNB. So this is this is good. This amount will vary on the amount of BNB in the lobby on each day of their stake and also on how big their stake is. The more you stake in relation to everyone else, the more you will earn. Basically saying that the more you put in, the longer you stake, the more dividends you'll get. Simple, right? Doesn't that, You don't have to uh, overcomplicate this, right? Uh, this is automatically controlled by our audited smart contracts. Uh, but this one here, this is pretty interesting. There's a loaning and lending system. So you can get loans from other users on your active stakes based on the stake's dividends with your chosen return amount and duration up until up until to your stakes end day. You cannot collect or sell your stakes until your loan is paid. Also, you can fill other users' loan requests and get paid with loan profit with guaranteed loan return from Averis platform. So in addition to the, you know, the staking system that a lot of people are used to, there's also a loaning and lending protocol here that may be another way to profit from this platform. I've never experienced this. So again, we're going to go through this firsthand here as we do update videos and you'll see how we do it and we'll see how this loaning and lending system works. But yeah, it's a little tweak on the original concept, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, this is just more of the same. There's going to be a, you know, a referral system we've already mentioned. Here's some FAQs, guys. How was the stake? How is the stake pool calculated? 94% of the BNB that enters the daily auction lobby is pooled and sent back to stakers. Um, do I have to stake ABC to receive BNB dividends? Yes, I already mentioned that. The whole platform is based on staking and in order to receive BNB, you need to stake your ABC. When will I receive my dividends, right? You can collect your stakes when they're finished and then you receive your dividends and also the ABC token. So like I said, you. Let's say, for example, you're getting your BNB dividends. Let's say you do a stake today and it's two weeks from today. I don't know. I'm just throwing out a number. Well, after those two weeks, when that stake is over, you can you can take the BNB dividends, right? Put that in your wallet, do what you want with it, and then take the ABC tokens that are um, obviously released back to you because their stake is over, and then restake those very same tokens for another two weeks or whatever, whatever your time frame you decide. Um, what is the point of the auction? Since there, since there is no liquidity on a DEX, the main way users can acquire ABC is by participating in the daily auctions. That's that's good, okay? The fact that there's no liquidity on a DEX, right? Because that's another thing that killed these, you know, these staking style platforms is people weren't buying it all on the, you know, people weren't going into to the lobby to get their tokens. They were going on a DEX, right? And that kind of defeats the whole purpose because you want people going into the auction. So, this, that's that's a good thing. If they can keep it that way, that's a major plus, right? The only way people can get their ABC tokens is by going into the lobby and don't put anything on a, on a text. That'll, that'll kill it. That'll kill it. 
Um, where does the BNB go? 94% of all BNB collected is returned to the stakers. The other 6% is reserved for development costs and buybacks. Um, I think buybacks was a, is a new thing as well, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, here's uh, the light paper, guys. White paper is kind of like a little PDF presentation. You can check this out. I'm not going to go through this whole thing right here, but you can see here, it just gives you, uh, you know, what is Avaris, right? Um, the platform that has drawn inspiration from the highly successful T2X platform from the glory days of DeFi. Not that two years ago was the glory days of DeFi. I think we're in the glory days right now, but, uh, you know, back then, Tron was hot. Right, like the way BSC now, Tron was like everything was on Tron back then, and T2X was the was the staking platform. Um, let me see if there's anything here that I haven't covered yet. I think I covered all of this. Here's the staking system. I'll show you that here. Bonus tokens. Users receive bonus AVC tokens on their active stakes, which is highly based on on the duration of their stakes. Again, longer pays better, longer the duration, higher the bonus. Uh, dividends pool, covered that already. Uh, and this is a nice little graph here that we'll, we'll talk about some other time. Uh, buybacks. Um, here, this is new. So here's the lending and loaning uh, explanation. Uh, again, users can get loans from other users on their stakes based on their stakes dividends already covered that um so here's the example this is what i wanted to go into here's an example if your stake has 100 days left to be completed and currently it has 5.0 bnb dividends you are allowed to get a loan with maximum of 5.0 bnb value return date of at max 100 days and your chosen interest amount that contract will automatically pay the lender on your behalf at the end of your requesting loan period Upon requesting a loan, the user will incur a 2% fee. This 2% will be split into 1% buyback and 1%, uh, doesn't say, okay. Um, yeah, okay. We're gonna have to study this loan loaning feature here a little bit more. We'll, we'll come back and do another video. But um, yeah, if it's another way to profit, um, it, it's a good thing, right? So let's take a, a, a look at the panel itself. So this is uh, looks a little bit different than what we're used to, right? <clears throat> but you know, don't let it looks very cluttered or it looks complicated, but it's really it's really not. This is the staking uh, tab right here. Obviously, we don't have any tokens to stake yet. We haven't even got into the lobby. We're going to do that today. We'll DCA in. I might do a bigger deposit, but just for the sake, sake of doing this video, and I'll come back later on off video, but just for the sake of this video, I'll show you how to get into the lobby uh, in a second. Once you go into the lobby, you'll, uh, at the end of the, the day, you'll be able to get your ABC tokens, and you take your ABC tokens, you come back to the staking tab, and you go ahead and stake. Again, I don't have any here, so I'll do another staking video once I get ABC tokens, but you would put it here, then you would put in how many days right, 14 days, it's two weeks, 30 days, 90 days, 60 days, 90, whatever, whatever your, your, your preferred staking term is, and you click stake, and then you'll be able to track all your stakes over here, start, end, progress, how much your, how much BNB divs is, has been accrued already, how many bonus tokens, and then here, once your, your stake is mature, you can um, unstake right here, okay, I'm pretty sure there's going to be, or maybe not pretty sure, but if it works like other ones, there's going to be an emergency unstake, which I don't recommend you do because chances are, you know, there's going to be a very, very heavy penalty for, for emergency unstaking. Um, anyway, here's the lending tab, buy and sell. So lobby. Right now, right, there's 429 participants. So far, 670 BNB has been deposited. Um, and this is uh, day one. Are we in day one right now? Yeah, I think this is day one. I don't know if, I was, if it was day one or day two. I think 
I think we're currently in day one, but people were able to get into the lobby since yesterday, 5 p.m. Eastern. So 5 p.m. Eastern on one day to 5 p.m. Eastern the next day, that's how they kind of gauge their days. So I think we're in day one right I thought we were on, we were in day two already, but it looks like here we're still in day one that we can get into. So um, just for demo purposes, again, you just put in how much BNB you wanna put in. So let's say, uh, um, let me see, again, I'm gonna have to, I don't even think I have much BNB in this wallet. So I'm gonna have to go back and send some BNB over. And then uh, off the video, I'll make a, you know, another deposit. But here it's um, just for demo purposes here, I'm putting one BNB, I'll enter the auction, prove the, uh, the transaction, of course. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I gotta I gotta move over some BNB here. I only have six BNB in this wallet. Um, there you go. Successfully entered one BNB. So boom. There you go. So I'm gonna receive four thousand four hundred sixty eight Avarus tokens. Now this number will change throughout. If you remember, guys, if you were in those other uh, contracts, as the day goes by, more people are gonna come in. More BNB will get deposited. That'll affect the number I get right here. So we'll see how this goes. But again, with these protocols, the key is to get in early, like get in day one, which right now we're making this video on day one. That's the key. The key is to get in super duper early. Now, of course, people are going to say, well, you know, there's really no difference if you come in day one or day 10 or day 20. It's going to be a fair opportunity for everybody. That's fine. OK, then you guys, whoever said that, go in on day 20 or day 30. The key is to get it on day one, right? Of course, there's more risk, right? Like if you get in on day 20 or day 30, then there's 20 or 30 days of data that you can look at. So there's a little bit less risk, but it's less profitable. So the more risk you take, the more profit you can have. It's just the way it is, high risk, high reward. So, you know, day one, if you want to get in, you know, you're taking the most risk because it's not proven yet. Um, but, you know, you're getting in at the very, very best prices. You're going to get the most avarous tokens for your BNB. Later on, you might put one BNB and get half the amount of avarous tokens or a third of the amount. That's just how these protocols work. Anyway, that's it. So once this day is over, I'll be able to get my tokens, right? I'm pretty sure there'll be a button or something like that where I can get my tokens. Then I head on over to the staking tab and then take my tokens and stake them right here for however many days, 30 days, whatever the case might be, stake it, and that's it. You know, you just kind of do that every single day if your dollar cost average again. And then, um, you know, at some point you'll have a passive payout coming through. Let's say you set, let's say you set up these ladder stakes every single day, 30 days each, and you're doing it every day. Well, what happens after that 30 day cycle? Now you have a, matured stake every single day that you can pull your BNB from and then just restake your, your, uh, you know, your, your, your Averis tokens. Um, yeah. Huh. What do you guys think? Are you guys going to get in? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to find out if you guys are going to get into this. I know with these platforms, you know, there's definitely profits to be made. The down, the, I don't want to say the downfall, but at the time, what kind of faded the hype of these platforms is the fact that there was one coming out every single week, right? There was some that had some exploits. There was some that, you know, there was some hacks. Obviously, that's no good. But what happened was there was one every single week. So people were kind of jumping from one platform to the next. There's only so much funds to go around. So, you know, there hasn't been a platform like this in a while. So this, that might be a good thing for this particular platform. Um, we'll see. All right, guys, that's pretty much it uh, for this one. I'll give you updates as we move forward. Um, follow me on Telegram, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that little bell icon. Uh, again, risk capital only, guys. Always follow that rule. Risk capital only. This is risky stuff. Do your own research, do your own due diligence, and I will catch you on the next video. Peace.